All right, guys, we spent our hard earned, are you taller than me? I, don't, I can't go any lower. All right, guys, we spent our hard earned money on stupid Amazon products so that you guys don't have to. It, just because I was curious and I wanted to see what was gonna happen. <laughs> the first thing is actually an incredible bargain at $130. This is a uh, inflatable motorcycle safety vest. Oh, so like if you get ejected off the bike before you If you, you hit fly the off the bike, this thing, pss, and so th this, this will replace your spinal protector, your uh, Hans device, which no one wears on the street, and also chest protector, and sh th this replaces all that stuff. It's only 130 bucks. The, uh, the normal price of these things are, um, I think, 800 bucks. Jeez. So I'm very, very, very excited to see what's gonna happen. Airbag, vest, manual. These are awful. Look at these drawings. I'm not even sure what that is. That's a picture of. Beard in my mouth. Okay, there's a couple different types of airbags. I learned this from the Fortnite video because I don't want to do any research. I'll just watch him do research. This is the pull cord kind. They have, they actually have a GPS kind that uses like a accelerometer that if it knows you came off the bike, but you have to have a battery. It's the pool cable kind, and it just you attach it to the bike. This guy's attached to this guy is, has attached to his crash bars, which is probably a bad place to attach it. You, can't, you probably want to be closer more to your chest. I would think so. And one of my big questions is, what happens if you forget about it? All right, so apparently this is a large. This is the size I should be wearing. Comfortably goes on like this. Looks like it's sized appropriate. Not bad. I thought it would come with one of these. Oh, it didn't come with one? I don't see any. And there's not one in there? We gotta go get one. Bam, Craig, why does that take so long? All right, these things are actually pretty hard to find. Where did yeah. you go to get it? Uh, I ended up going to Bass Pro Shop. Nice. They're similar to the ones that they use for fish, but not exactly. But not exactly. Those were a little smaller in the net. Do we have to unscrew this before we put this one in? No, I think you just put that in. I'm going to back up. Down here. All right, so the, the big complaint about this thing was all the, all the one star, the two star, all the three star reviews, it actually had pretty decent reviews, but all the bad star reviews was because it didn't come with a CO2 container, which it says it did, and I also didn't. I also thought it would come with one too. But uh, and the other review was that the, the zipper was horrible. But some of the reviews actually said that the people actually used it in real situ right, do it, do it. All right, so the first question is, does it actually work? So. It was a little anticlimactic. It took a little longer than I thought it was gonna take. It did. To you fully... Would've, you would've been on the ground, I think. The f yeah, I think I would've been on the ground. It worked, though. It did. I feel all nice and snug. I bet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is the long one, so it actually comes down really low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Punch me right here. <clears throat> Nothing. Nothing. Punch me right here. <laughs> <laughs> it does work. We should see if you float. All right, so when we went through the edit, it was actually a lot faster than what I thought. Let's give you guys some uh, comparison. This is one second. All the major brands um, claim to do this thing in about the same speed, and that's right around here, uh, 200 milliseconds. This one, we, we measured it, maybe a little rough, but it was somewhere right around here right before the 200 millisecond mark. So I, I, I actually kind of thought that it was going to be way slower than the, uh, than the major brands. It's a very simple system. Craig, you want to draw out the system? Okay, so let's see. I'm a good drawer. That's not, that's, that's not even <laughs> that? close. What are you trying to graffiti something? Hold on, on. you drew yours, drew yours. All right, so we have the canister and that gets necked down. Draw your I'm going to draw my own competing one. Comes down here and that sits on the ball this ball is tied to a lanyard we'll do a better we'll, be, we'll do a better drawing explaining this and then craig will do a voiceover showing what's going oh, on wait now the ball's out here the question i have now obviously it's not gonna work for every type of accident i think i heard a stat that said 80 percent of all motorcycle crashes are single vehicle incidents so if some guy's sliding off the road it only really works if you if you you know separate yourself from the bike if a car runs and hits you from the side it's it'll eventually deploy but you might have been on the ground for a little bit and it may stop like the other movements of you rolling what this is really perfect for is if you high side <laughs> 
So even though this might not help you with the initial impact, it's just still gonna help you out when you're rolling and tumbling and stuff. Hopefully you don't roll and tumble. Sometimes, Keep it in that slide. Sometimes you roll and tumble. Keep it in that slide. So when this thing came, it did not come with a cartridge and they're actually pretty expensive. Yeah, they're like 25 or 30 bucks a piece. So you buy four, you buy eight of them. You, you, you know, it's the same cost as a jacket, but it's kind of cool that it's reusable. I guess we gotta figure out how to, oh, look, there's the spring. Oh, uh, now I see it. Here, hold on, can we unscrew this? Oh, this whole assembly? Probably. There we go, there's the spring. This thing's up here. The spring is compressed. This thing gets pulled. Nothing's there holding it back. And this thing gets jams into the cartridge. Puts a big hole in there. And fills up the, there's a hole right there. So just to give you guys some context, this is about, this, this deploys about 200 milliseconds. An airbag, a car airbag is 55 milliseconds. So it's like, yeah, it, it, it's a quarter of the time of this, and this was actually pretty fast. You could have, what, 20 airbags deploy in a second? Back, back to back, back to back. That's pretty impressive. Inevitably, you're not used to wearing something like this the first time you, you, you put it on. So the way it's set up is this is supposed to attach to your bike. Where are you supposed to attach it? I'd, I'd attach, attach it anywhere. somewhere high. That way it inflates before I hit the ground. It all depends on where you go and hit the ground. Mm -hmm. If you're going up first, then you want it lower. Right, true. All right, so let's say you have it attached to your bike. This is fine, I can, I can do everything I want to do when I'm riding, it's not gonna get in the way. What happens when you forget about it and you just get up your bike and you start walking over? That's what happens. That's exactly what happens. I thought it would be a little bit harder, but it would happen pretty quickly. <laughs> So you, you might actually need to have saddlebags just filled with extra one of those because I'm probably this is probably gonna happen multiple times. Right. Ben, kick me right in the back. Yeah. No, no, you missed it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ben, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> you missed it too at my Why? shoulder. Oh geez, I got really <laughs> high on that one. There we go. That's that's something. And it could be like a little little tent. There you go. I kind of don't hate this. I think I, I, I would actually, I would, I would wear this for a track day. All right, so I, in closing, Craig, how would you rate this? I think it's amazing. I think it's awesome too. I think it's well worth every, <laughs> uh. Subscribe. We're not, we're not done with the video yet. We have, <laughs> we have more stuff we gotta review. Let's go see the next thing. Safety fall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next we have is this. Ooh, what do we got here? Whatever it is, it costs $49.90. I think this is a, uh, a security system. I don't know why I bought two of them. So a, lo a lot of people have issues with theft in a lot of different states. Um, there's a couple of solutions for that. One, you could just move out of the state. I, oh, it's at me. So basically, you put this thing on your handlebar grip and people can't break it off. And if they try to, it starts to make a noise because it's got a battery. I don't know, it feels pretty solid. This item has a total of seven reviews. And it also has seven, it's like three stars, seven reviews. And it's supposed to get as loud as 120 decibels. Wow, that's a lot of decibels. So what happens when someone comes up, tries to steal your bike? Well, for, for one, it's not 120 decibels. It was 80 decibels at most. It's, it's annoying. I mean, it's not even pulling it in enough that I can't move the tire. Look at that. So it's not doing that good of a job. It just kind of makes noise. I'm gonna go with uh, one, it only goes on certain bikes. I couldn't get it on that bike. It fit real easy on this bike. Depending on how tight your brakes are, it might not even stop the people from moving the bike. And it does not go to 120 decibels. This is barely, slightly better than that little one for like 19 bucks that goes under your seat that we've re reviewed like three videos ago. We'll link that in the comments. I, I wouldn't buy it. No. This thing's junk. So I'm giving that product 12 thumbs down. Mm -hmm. All 12. All 12. That's all of them. 
Now the next thing we have to review has nothing to do with motorcycles, but maybe kind of does. And it's something awesome that I found on the internet for 79 bucks. Check this thing out. It's a mask that you wear under your hoodie when you're doing uh, smoke stuff. Huh. I'm thinking like, uh, you know, if there's like a um, purge situation. This would come in handy. It's come in handy. Check it out. Ooh. Oh wait, it's got battery power, you see it? Look at that. Yo, put that on, put your hoodie on. And now steal your bike. That's cool. I'm gonna go with, uh, you can, it looks like you can change stuff. I don't know how. Should we take this plastic off? I already took it off. Oh, did you? It's not easy to see through. It'd be hard to ride motorcycle wearing it. Oh, I could ride with this. I don't know, I thought that was pretty cool. 80 bucks. Pretty neat. Pretty dope. All right, nothing to do with motorcycles. Can do all sorts of stuff with it. Look, it'll say words. Yo, we should download the uh, Bikes and Beards logo and put it on there. All right, so we actually had a little bit of time to uh, actually program this and see what it does. Dan actually checked it out and he put the app on his phone. Dan, show us how this thing works. All right, so this is just the default animation. Uh, there's more animations. So there's stars, or that's a flame. Ooh. Sci-fi. Ooh. Ooh, mysterious. Uh, it swirls. All right. <laughs> That one makes your face look like a toilet bowl. No, it's black hole face. There's a bunch of default still images. So they got stuff like this. I don't Spooky. know. Spooky. People like that stuff, right? Scary clown stuff. Who's that? Yeah, I don't know, Geisha or something? Yeah. Uh, Halloween music. So like a wave thing. So it's going to music. Kind of like a Daft Punk type of thing. All right, and then we have the do-it-yourself options. So we can import, and uh, I can make you look like... Uh, Me? Well, that's Craig. Oh, it's Craig. I'm a monster. <laughs> that's I mean, so there's handsome. yourself. There's yourself. Look at that. Is that the Bikes and Beards logo? No, no, that's you. Oh, it's me? Yeah, you just look like you. Congratulations. Looks like I'm not even wearing a mask. Yeah, it's just you. Uh, and then that's the logo. That Karen comes to me in the store. She's like, put a mask on. I'm wearing a mask, lady. <laughs> I'm wearing a mask. Nice. You know what? Let me, uh, yeah, Bikes and Beards Army when they're all like marching to the bank or something like that. Here you go, Dan. You put this on. Oh, I, I, I got one for you. I, a little bit of Chris Rock action. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, there's Will Smith. There's some Will. Does that mean I get to slap you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. No, none of that nonsense. So, I, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. It uh, has nothing to do with riding motorcycles. Let's go to the next thing. All right, the next thing has everything to do with motorcycles. And I'm actually really, really excited about this. This is the Motorcycle HD Projector Light Kit. And we paid a whopping $27.99 for it. And you know how like, uh, like newer cars, where you open up the door and it'll show like the emblem on the, uh, on the ground? Mm -hmm. Like Ford, or Lincoln. Bentley, Lincoln, Dan's yeah. Lincoln does that. This is the same thing, but for cars, so it'll show wings on the ground what? when you're riding on the highway. Let's see, see if we can see a picture on the listing. M2 will give you wings. Oh, this has both the right side and left side. I can't wait to open this thing. Let's make it nighttime. Let's go test it out right now. Yo, Craig, is this awesome? So awesome. So cool. All right, let's put this on that bike. All right, so during the daytime, you can't see anything. It looks kind of stupid. Check this out when you turn the lights off and it's at nighttime. Bam! How cool is that? I'm digging it. I kind of really like it. I think there's really something up with this in terms of motorcycle safety. Imagine you had like a ring that just went around your bike. So you're cruising on the highway and people, it's just easier to see. That's, that's kind of a cool idea. And like what you said, if, you, if, if when your blinkers came on, it kind of flashed. I don't like the idea of it being aftermarket. I want it to be part of the bike where it's all nice and clean and it's not like the big stupid, because look, we have to put them on the tank. No one's gonna keep them up there. I think it's actually pretty cool. I think it's neat. I'm gonna give that, Four out of five thumbs up. I think it's a great idea. I'm not sure if the delivery is super good and I don't want to really put that on my bike, but if my bike had it, like built in, I think that'd be really cool. Next one we got right here is Chubby Buttons. I think it's a play on word from like Chubby Bunnies. Chubby Bunnies. This is some giant thing. <laughs> it's like the remote control you get for your grandparents. Yes, that's exactly what it is. And it's Bluetooth connects to your phone and you have a camera. So you can either put it on your bike or what they were doing is they were just putting it on their wrist like this. 
you're on a ride, you put this on your wrist, or you put it on the bike, and then big fat buttons, you're wearing gloves. You can easily just play. Next one, next one, add more, take a photo, you know what I mean? I, it's not a bad idea. So normally this is how it would be. I'd be riding, I'd have my helmet on, i turn my comm system on and do my thing. But we could, but then you guys couldn't hear anything. So we'll do the same thing. Instead of my comm system, we use this uh, portable speaker. Yo, what's up, Craig? Yo, what's up, dude? All right, I'm gonna hang up. Well, I couldn't figure out how to hang up. You're trying to use Siri, and it, it won't actually connect. Siri, change the song, or something. It's like, call your mom, and um, I kind of like it. I'm gonna go with, uh, I like this thing. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I agree. Two high fives. How much was it? 80 bucks. Well, it's not cheap, but. It feels decent in the hand like it doesn't feel super cheap you know it's a nice strap it feels buttons, of good quality buttons feel good all right so we got one more thing we saved the biggest one for last i'm on amazon i'm scrolling through looking at cool stuff and i had the idea i was like well we kind of need a paint booth because we needed to paint something can we buy an inflatable paint booth found one on amazon 499 bucks bam we got it let's go check it out it's pretty cool so this is our paint booth we got off of amazon it's supposed to be huge. Now, I don't know nothing about painting, but I know a lot about bounce houses. Um, the old shop used to be next to a bounce house rental place, and I bought one of their bounce houses about five years ago for my kids. Best investment I've ever made. Although, every time I get it out, I end up injuring myself. So it's got two different blowers. One blower is to keep it up. The other blower is to blow air through it. You know what I'm talking about. Wait, wait. There <laughs> Do it, Craig. Do it. Oh, yeah, now we're doing something. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking with gas. There we go. Yo, think of all the cool stuff we can do inside here. Yeah, this is vent, paint and stuff. I actually, I thought there was a thing that went in the middle to hang stuff, is that this? You hang stuff off of here? This is like the coolest tent. All you need is a really loud generator somewhere. Oh, check it out. Get that vent action. This little one plugs in here. There we go. I think I recall on the um, on the little pictures of how to use this. They even had an image of like people sitting down and had, like eating in like, the, with a table and drinking like, you know, because they want to try to make it as all purpose as they possibly could. I honestly, I thought I bought the bigger one, but I guess it's not. You're, you're not putting a car in here. You can have it vented. Oh. I have it unzipped or not vented. Oh. Cool, let's paint something. Oh, here. So overall, we thought the paint booth was really, really cool. Next time we should get a bigger size, but for motorcycles, it's perfect. The only big problem that we saw was that it needed to have a little bit more ventilation. So if you put a couple of fans, a couple of like box fans on both sides of the vents, I think it's gonna be a whole lot better. Other than that, I thought it was pretty cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time, subscribe.